Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is going to be kind of a dual part vlog and a little review of how the iPhone X works for vlogging golf and also the DJI Osmo mobile. So those are the two things I'm using in this vlog. This is at Skylinks Golf Course in Long Beach, California. This is my first tee shot on the back nine, playing the back nine today. That was a really good drive, solid out of the center, and went just down the right-hand side of the fairway. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, today's vlog with David, who you guys know, say hi. Um, the special thing, David, today about today's vlog is my wife really wanted a new phone. So it's okay. like everything has to happen in two. So I had to get a new phone as well. Oh, this is new? This is the iPhone X. Nice. So let me know if you guys see a difference in quality. I hope you do because the phone's expensive. Oh, and you have the. Uh... And, and yeah, also I got the smooth cam thing on. Um, had some horrible shaky camera things happen in Vegas. So oh, this is going to be great for that. This is going to be good. really good for walking and talking. I did not bring a plan B as far as if the battery dies on this thing. Uh, it just, it just, it's flopsy. It's, it's, you can't like, you can't use it as a tripod or whatever. It's just, yeah, who knows, you don't know how long the battery lasts. No, not really. It's, it's fully charged. I, I charge, this is a DJI Osmo mobile, but it's not, they just came out with a new one that has the ability to like plug your phone into it. Yeah, that's what mine does. Yeah, to charge your phone, but. but I don't know how long the actual thing lasts. Right. I know it always says hours, but it all depends on like right now with this walking. I mean, it, it is working hard to keep it balanced. So trying to up the production value a little bit or the watchability really. And the other change is I'm, I'm putting my three wood back in the bag that I've had out of the bag for about a year and a half, two years almost. Uh, no, a year and a half. I'm off the wall. Okay. And, uh, because I've been hitting my monster hybrid horribly. And other than that, oh yeah, we I, I announced, I don't know if you guys saw the video yet, but I announced the Be Better Golf School in Orlando coming up, which I'm super excited about. It's at Mike Bender's facility and Mike Bender's gonna be there giving a presentation. And Tony Lutzak's gonna be there teaching for two days. It's really gonna be awesome. So uh, super excited about that. Though I, I think, uh, I'll put a, an announcement video at the end of this if I hadn't done that already. All right, so this first hole, here's 106 yards. I hit it dead straight into an area where there's a lot of, some really long hitter who's the hitting balls off the range over here because it's nothing but range balls over here. Let's see if we can find it. Alignment was not very good there, and the wind was, you can see the trees, was blown pretty hard, so a couple excuses, but I blocked it out over here to the right, and this is for birdie, and not done any putting this morning, that came up pretty well short. So uh, right out of the gate, leaving myself about seven feet for par, and I uh, thought I was going to make this one. What? Yeah. Slow lip out. Disappointing bogey after a great drive. And uh, bogey with wedge in my hand. That's one area of my game. Like, I would like to never do that. So the one test for today will be, I'm not going to shut off the iPhone, put it to sleep at all while we're playing and I'm not going to shut off the the Osmo Mobile either while we're playing at all and I want to see how many holes I can get through without powering down either one because that be the the best scenario would be if I don't have to do that if I can just play without having to shut anything down yeah and I'll let you know that I didn't do that like right after the uh the camera when it's in my uh, holder on my push cart, bounces around so much that I, I have to take it out. It's just too much of a risk of falling. 
So, not a great drive there. I hit like what became a maybe a snap hook. It, not a total snap hook, but just not a great drive at all. David hit a great drive there. He's been kind of struggling with his game. Okay. That was right up. I just couldn't get the straight out of my head for some reason. Did you go that way? I went right. All right. No time like the present to, to try the old slider three wood again for the first time in a year. So I'm going to try to hit it at that building, that office building, and uh, just have it sit straight there. Maybe, maybe draw. That's probably not really happening, but the wind actually might help that. It feels like I have a wider angle with the iPhone, with the iPhone X. If you guys know a way that I could put like a dead cat or a dead kitten muff wind muffler onto the iPhone, I would like that. That was a great shot. A uh, really good rope hook, which is the exact shot shape that I wanted. has been, I guess, champing at the bit to get back in the bag. That was very good. I like that a lot better than what I would have done with the monster hyper. Choke up a little punch draw like that. So you guys can hear the wind noise there when it's it's very windy. So I'm just tr I would like to have some kind of muffler that could go on and off the phone. I used to have one for the old phone a road one that worked really well but now that the new phone doesn't have a headphone jack i don't really know how i could attach that all right so that it was my putt for birdie and then that is a par on the second hole the, that's a five on this par five moving on to the par four the 10th 11th 12th hole And uh, this already was like two weeks ago. I shot a really cool interview with AJ Bonar down in San Diego, and I've had a lot of regular work that's kept me very busy. So you guys will see that interview coming up soon. And I wanted to show you guys, this is the Be Better Golf Rockin' L&M head covers. There's three of these head covers left. Or I think a head cover wood combo like I have. Go check out the website. There's a link in the description below. They're really unique. Cool head covers. Made a good swing, but just didn't account for the wind at all. I'm just playing California golf. I'm not anticipating anything for the wind, and it's just getting slapped out of the air. It was headed straight for it. Like, it's going to fall down there, and then it said it fell down right here. You can really tell, hopefully I can get this up in 4K, you can really tell a difference when you're starting to look at these shots like far away because you can still see detail far away. That was a great little short game shot there. Because you can see, see that grass there? That is pretty grabby. So I was uh, really happy with that. Do my full routine. Same thing you guys saw in the, in the putting video I did, uh, T-R-U-S-T. I just misread it. Either misread it or, or I must have misread it because I, I felt like I hit it pretty good. So that's disappointing. That's that's putting has cost me two strokes already over these first two holes. I mean, a three putt on the first hole I played and uh, missing about a three footer, maybe like a three and a half footer. So. That was an awesome hybrid shot from 230 yards. Hit a really good draw. The wind's going right to left, so it was kind of a wind-assisted draw. And if you look at this shot right here, and you guys can go back to it if you want, um, that is basically the HDR look, the high dynamic range look, where you see how there's still details in the shadows and there's still details in the blown out spots? That's supposedly the big difference that's coming out with cameras now that the iPhone still has some this has some up. I'd like to get, I also bought a new camera, a new regular camera that I did my interview that you guys will see coming up with AJ. Um, what is the name of it? I'll have, to, I'll have to find out the name of it. I'm holding it right now. It's the, uh, it's a Sony AX33. 
so it's it's a it's a 4k camera that was an awesome putt so awesome birdie for me here so right now and also during this round i was kind of more thinking about the tech than really my golf game that wasn't good i was off the toe i'm down under that tree it it was it was the opposite of what i wanted i wanted a, a draw and i hit a weak fade David hit a good drive. It just fell out of the wow, air. Went nowhere. You got, you got a good chunk of that, that's... All right, so I'm under this tree. I'm actually not in that bad of a spot. But it's hard to see. I had to play that lower than it looks like on camera because I remember having to punch that. All right, greenside bunker, which isn't too bad, but just another terrible punch shot. Let's get that up and down. I don't want the post birdie to mess up. All right, let's hit a good bunker shot, though. Yeah, I'm not hitting punch shots well. Um, not at all. It's just something I, I need to actually go practice. All right, so this is on the DJI Osmo Mobile. And sometimes for, I don't know why, but it just kind of drifts off. It is just tilting up, tilting up, tilting up while I'm hitting this bunker shot. And I hit a good one. Hopefully you guys can still see it. The sound was good. And I hit it to maybe seven feet or something. But for some reason... Oh my gosh. Damn camera. See, that's why I don't like this thing. I hit a great bunker shot. Oh, a pretty good one anyway. To there. This thing drifted on me. And I did break the bunker right after that. But I looked back and saw that that was out of position. And then I tried to do it again on this shot. So I had David man the camera for a second. So that's a bogey. Now back to two over par. Going to this par five. I'm trying to get pumped up for this one because the last drive was so poor. The wind is not really helping the draw here. I hit an awesome high draw on that driver. trying to remember I guess this was downwind a little bit so I hit a great drive into the fairway and David hit like a spinner way out to the left near the tee box put any comments below that you guys would have uh, he would be interested to hear he's been really jumping around different like swing mythologies or whatever you want to call it I've been talking a little bit with this pro from Florida uh, Andre and he has his master's in psychology he's kind of like a mental game expert and stuff and he's a, he's a big advocate of slow motion training so I've been doing a lot of slow motion swings recently and it's like mentally a grind to do that um, and I've kind of figured something out about my backswing as far as once it gets belt high it keeps going too deep and not enough up in my opinion so uh i've i've committed to at least giving it 30 days of slow motion swings every day Let's see where i am okay back in the green yeah that event in palmetto coming up is going to be amazing it's going to be really a lot to do with taking what you do on the range and making it happen on the course andre and i just did a facetime session yesterday mental training thing all right so that was for that was for eagle actually and uh you guys can see the wind's really going so this is why i want this wind muffler how annoying is that sound it's the worst thing about golf logs stroke for birdie made it all right very good back to one over moving on to the par three this is like 160 yards. I think this is eight iron. So that's kind of the backswing move I'm thinking. It's like, it has to be a lot more up in my backswing, in the kind of second half of my backswing. Hit a decent shot there, center of the green. And David. David hit a good one there. A little kind of step through, but I think he's got some knee issues that cause him some balance problems from a motorcycle accident he had a long time ago. So, 
Do you play the wind so good? Great putt, great lag putt in this uh, stiff wind. And there, there you guys just saw it shuttling from 1x to 2x, or actually from 2x to 1x. So the iPhone X has two different zooms. It has a as the regular lens, but then you can switch to the other lens, which is uh, two times zoomed, which is really huge for any video that you're going to do. So just hit that way through the break, and the camera ran out of media there, and then had to clear more. I should have bought the bigger phone, as far as the, whatever, 256 gigabyte phone, where I had to clear out space. So going to the 17th hole. It's pretty typical. I, I'm really sick of hitting that golf shot. All right, so just trying to get back out into play here. It's a heavy lift there. Did a pretty good job of getting it back out. Into, oh, no, it hit the tree. I remember this. It hit the tree, but it landed in between those two bunkers. I was pretty pretty happy with that result. That was one of those shots where I just hit and I didn't really have a plan of what I was thinking would happen with the ball. It was just kind of a hit and hope. All right, so then I took the hybrid out and trying to get it up on the green. It's like 209 yards, something like that, 213 yards. But hung it out to the right, that wasn't that awesome. So here's David's, uh, I just wanted to show, so, so with the, see with the shadow, that's me holding this camera. The wind is just an issue for sure. Um, if I had that fuzzy thing, they, they call it a dead cat, or if it's small, they call it a dead kitten that you put on a microphone, it really helps in the wind, really helps, and you get rid of all that muffled noise. So here's... David pitching, he also was in the bunker, so that he needs to get this up and down for par. So he gets it up on the green. So he'll have that for his par. This is my third shot. This is my fourth shot, actually. So that was awesome. Uh, short game scoring system shot there. Great impact. Be better golf short game scoring special. Short game scoring system special. I mean, I've recently I've had no time to practice, and that's all it is. You just check that thing out and uh, just do the drills. There's a there's a tour drill section. So once you have the basic motion, uh, it's base motion Tim calls it, down, you just do the drills. But you gotta, you know, it's like anything. You gotta actually put time into it. All right, so this is for Bogey to tie the hole with David and actually win the match. We were having just a, a small match there. Ooh, yeah, that up and down was huge. So I was happy about that, not to make a double bogey. That's right, one thing. So far, every round I've played nine holes or eighteen holes. I've played in 2018. I've made at least one birdie. So that's a goal is to is to at least make one birdie every round and and uh, actually I mean at least that and uh, reduce double bogeys. All right, that was I think I forget how, where that drive went. Swing looked fine to me. Yeah, that drive was really good actually. Is into the wind quite a bit. So this is. Um, I think this is a four iron. It says I'm choked up on this four iron some, and it actually ended up just blocking out to the right of the green. There's water short left on this hole, so it blocked out to the right of the green, and it actually went way too far. I'm almost into the practice area where we had our short game school with Tim a couple of months ago. So this is that that was a good shot. So if you can get somebody like David was manning the camera there, if you can get somebody to man the camera, I mean, you can get some really classy looking shots with it. So, I mean, I recommend the thing for sure. So this is for, yeah, so that's three over 39 for me on that nine holes. Really, really it was a putting 
just as much as anything. ...of the iPhone for golf. In 4K mode, it's really good. It's just gonna take up a lot of space on your phone and then also a lot of space on your computer when I go to edit this together, but probably worth it because some people have said when they've watched the vlogs before that they like when I use the bigger camera because then they can follow the ball. But I think you'll be able to follow the ball well in 4K mode. So, and then with the gimbal, I think it's super useful. Later, bye. And if you guys watch these vlogs, you have a chance, if you're a subscriber and you clicked post notifications, to win a Be Better Golf t-shirt from bebettergolf.net slash pro shop. The winner this week from my conversation with Phil Reed is Danny Jones. Danny, thanks for the comment. Thanks for subscribing and clicking the post notifications button. So uh, uh, this week, if you would like to win a t-shirt, all you gotta do to have a chance to do that is subscribe to the channel, click the bell, which is the post notifications, and put the comment slap bracelet down there in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.